I have a brand new episode of Pimp My Design for you guys. Today, we are improving on Rohit's design, which is a story design. Let's go. Hey, 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 what is up, guys? This is Ronnie, your go-to Canva guru. Today, I'm very happy to be back with the Pimp My Design series. Pimp My Design is this show where we open and improve on a design submitted by one of you guys, one of the members of our lovely community. Today, I have the pleasure of working with Rohit's design. So Rohit completed the Google form that we have here from which you can submit your design. So there will be a link in the description. Make sure you watch this 20 second video right here explaining what link you need to share with us. And then we will select the most relevant design, the designs that we believe could be a good playing ground for teaching you about graphic design, about about the design fundamentals, which is really what this show is about. You watch me improve on the design, but I teach you using the design process, the design fundamentals, so that you can become a better designer. All right, without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's discover Rohit's design. So it is a WhatsApp status. WhatsApp statuses are basically the same thing as a WhatsApp story or any kind of story really, because the story format, which is the great thing about stories, is that they are the same format on Instagram, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on WhatsApp, any platform really. If I click on the file button here, I can see 1080 by 1920. 9 by 16. So this is a story that Rohit is going to be using on WhatsApp, probably to promote these upcoming yoga classes, yoga sessions. So the design is actually pretty interesting. It has a very lovely color palette. So this is really well done, I believe. The color palette selection, the nice photo with the light and the two instructors here, looking very zen, looking very yoga, yogic. And then we have a bunch of text here with different sessions. I believe these are named names of particular yoga practices, yoga sessions with the dates and the time. And then we have some complementary information here at the bottom, kind of like letting viewers know how to register for these sessions. And you have two contact numbers, Rohit and Ankita. So they are both Isha Atta yoga teachers. Then we have two logos here and a photo. Practices are designed by this person, which I believe is Sadhguru. So a very famous, I would say, guru from India, spiritual leader and also yoga practitioner. I'm a big fan of Sadhguru myself, so I know who that guy is. And Ishahata Yoga is probably one of the centers that he has kind of funded or started. All right, so let's improve on this design. Let's pimp this design. All right, the first thing I want to do is to extract the color palette because I really like these colors and I believe we don't need to change them in any form. These are already good to go and good to work with. So I'm going to simply create my color palette extracting it from this design right here to make sure we are using these colors so for that I'm just going to go and find a circle frame so circle frame in my graphics All right so frame like so I just drop the circle and I'm going to open this circle right here all right so I'm going to duplicate it probably four or five times. Let's go for four for now and start extracting the colors. So we have this neutral color. This is probably the most neutral color of all in the design. So if I click on it, I see the second one right here. Let's start with this one. Then I'm going to go in order of intensity. So from the most neutral to the most vibrant color. So the second would be this one right here, kind of like earthy color. If I click on this one, it's the last one here on top. So I'm going to select this one as well. Then we have this brownish color right here. Let me see. Okay. Don't want to move things too much so, because I want to preserve the original design from Rohit. So I'm not going to move things around too much, but I just need to select that color. Okay, here it is. So this one is the second to last here. And then we have this one right here, this lighter orange, which almost looks like pink. But this one has been achieved by applying some transparency. If we look here, 49. So yes, I believe this is the same color as this one with 50% transparency, basically. So I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna apply this one. Yes, and give it 50% transparency. 
and see if I am achieving my result here. Not exactly. So what I'm going to do is to copy this, bring it here and to analyze what color this is by bringing full transparency. Okay, it is an orange. Let's find this orange. Okay, locate it. I'm gonna use this and now I have what I was looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this color palette right here. Okay, I'm gonna keep that right here and start designing on this other page. What else can I extract from this design? Well, it is important that we identify what's important on this design. So same as before, I want to kind of reproduce the hierarchy of the elements in this design. So upcoming programs, yes, upcoming program definitely is something important. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. Upcoming programs, maybe instead of programs, I could switch programs by classes, upcoming classes. These are yoga classes. Let's see, let's keep it like so. And then we have all the classes basically. So I'm gonna copy this. There's a lot of things going on here. So maybe each of the classes and then the information here. So I'm just copying, selecting everything that's important here at the moment. I can see three classes here and then we have two more here and these say practice correction session. So maybe these are like regular sessions and these are correction sessions where maybe the teachers help the students correct their asanas or their yoga poses so that they do it more perfectly that's might be the reason why these sessions are shorter they're half an hour shorter than the regular sessions so i'm just assuming here because i don't know the program but there is there seem to be a difference between these two classes and these three so we might want to represent that as well on our design and then i have these right here i'm gonna try to select everything at once here okay Perfect. And these are the correction sessions. So I can bring that sentence as well. Okay, so this is my info. Then I will need to have all of this info right here as well, which is like how to register for the classes. So the venue, the two teachers, Rohit and Ankita, like so. And the venue and just specifying these are Isha Hatha Yoga teachers. Okay, so this is the information. Then we have the logos here. Probably need to keep these logos because they are probably important commercially speaking. So I'm gonna take that and bring it here. What I can see with the logos is that they're very small on this original design. They are very small, I cannot read them. So I probably need to do something with the logos to make them bigger. So I can at least see what they are about. Otherwise there's no point on having something which you cannot read on your design, just doesn't make sense. All right, so it seems like I have extracted all the important information. I left out this photo of Sadhguru and practices are designed by Sadhguru here because I believe these two logos kind of play the same role of explaining these classes are part of the Ishahata Yoga centers and school. So the logos will do that talking, I believe. So let's do it like so. All right, now, what else do I want to rescue from this design? I like the photo, actually. The photo looks very cool. So I, I'm wondering if I can work with that. So I'm gonna copy it as well. You know what? I'm going to just create a copy of Rohit's design to make sure I'm not messing it up because I want to have this before and after comparison. Okay, so moving on. I'm rescuing this photo right here. Control C on the photo. I'm gonna paste it on another page here. And I see it is actually in a frame. So if you have to work with a photo in a frame, what you can do is right click and then detach image. Okay, I'm gonna detach this image from the frame. I don't need the frame at this point. I'm gonna just delete the frame. So now I can see this image. If I want some information, I can click on the info button and I can see that this content has been uploaded by another user because it has a Hisha Hatha Yoga School watermark on it. So Rohit probably uploaded this photo to his design, which is very good. We have an original photo to work with. Okay, so I have the photo, I have the color palette. If I look at the original design, some of the problems of this design is that this area right here is too crowded. Okay, so I, I don't know where to look first, second and third. So there's a problem with hierarchy. There's also a problem in my opinion with white space. There's not enough white space in this design, which makes it feel cluttered makes it feel like there's too much things going on and therefore it's not very harmonious the top part 
of the visual looks pretty harmonious. It is nice looking because the photo is nice and the colors are nice. But when we look at the second part here, which is the most important part, because we want our students to understand the lessons, that some are correction sessions, some are just normal sessions, and then contact us. So this part right here doesn't have enough importance on the design because my eye, when I look at the lower section, is more attracted by these because of the hierarchy that has been used on the design. So we need to change that. But one thing I need as well is to have a font which works more harmoniously with a yoga design, with a yoga template. So the second thing I'm going to do, now that I have all my information here extracted, is to start looking for inspiration in terms of style, in terms of templates, in terms of layout. Okay, how can I work with all of this information right here? So to find this inspiration, I can start just by looking at the template area right here. So we said that this was a WhatsApp story. So you can look at the different WhatsApp story templates. So with nothing selected, because if you started the design typing WhatsApp story from the Canva homepage right here by typing WhatsApp story, like so, it will be presented with different templates. Okay, so these are the same templates I'm seeing right here on this page right here. These are the same templates. So because Rohit probably started his search for a template by typing WhatsApp story. So what I'm doing here is simply going over the different templates and trying to find one that interests me. Okay, so I found this one right here and I'm going to apply it to a blank page in my design. So let's have a look. Why did I pick this one? Well, first, because we have five classes here and we have these five sections here that are nicely kind of laid out in a minimalistic manner. And that will be an interesting way for me to work with these five different classes that I have. Of course, I don't need this visual right here. Not sure about the flowers. Maybe these can stay, we'll see. I just keep that. What I know is that this font, let's try it. Let's try to, to put this text, our main text here in this font and see how this works. Well, first it's too big. So if I reduce the spacing, then it becomes messy because these have long kind of like letters and I don't want to have this much space. So this font is not gonna work for me. Another thing I can do is to simply go back to Canva here. I'm just gonna go back to Canva's home and the template tab. And I want to search for yoga simply. I want to find some inspiration about yoga stuff, yoga classes, yoga designs. That will give me some interesting information about what sorts of fonts are people using in their yoga designs. So there's one here. So I can probably open this and I'm going to find a few other ones. What else do I like here? Are there other yoga inspired? This one I like as well. So I'm going to open it as well. And now I have these two designs, this one and this one, and I can start like analyzing the fonts they are using on these templates. So this one, I really like it. Montserrat Extra Light. Okay, I like Montserrat Extra Light. I'm going to copy this text box and bring that to my design rights here here. Okay, I'm going to work on this one right here. So I have this Montserrat design here. Let's get rid of the background and use a neutral color. Now I have this information. This is one of the fonts that I could use. Let's look at this other design. I like this text right here for the bolder part of my design. It is also Montserrat. This one is Montserrat Extra Bold, I believe. Yes. So Montserrat Extra Light, Montserrat Extra Bold. This will work. This is the same font category. So let's go for this title as well. Just again, copying it and I'm going to paste it here and change its color for the same darker color that we have here. Here. Of course, I don't want it curved. So just go back to my effect button and cancel the curve effect. All right. And now I can copy this text right here and apply it here. Upcoming classes. I can get rid of this one and bring this up. Maybe have this on two lines. Let's see. Upcoming classes. And now I have upcoming classes looking pretty good. Okay. So 
let's reduce the spacing slightly. Okay, we have our main title. Now let's try to fit these class names and information into these boxes right here. So I'm going to delete all of these. And some, I can see straight away that some boxes are too small. So I'm just going to make them bigger. I'm not sure I will keep the arrows for now, but let's see. All right, this is what I have so far. One of the things that I liked about the original design is the visual grouping of this information, one type of classes, and then this information, another type of classes. I kind of want to keep that and maybe reinforce it by using certain color for a certain group of classes as well. So let's do this. This technique is called visual grouping to give certain attributes to a group of elements that are relevant and working together. So in this case, the classes are perfect examples of that. So I'm going to take my first classes here and bring that down right here and start filling up these boxes here. But I want to rearrange them in such a way that they kind of look the same size. Okay, I can flip this one maybe, so they don't look exactly like they are the same identical copy from one another. And I'm going to select the three of them and use the position button to space them evenly horizontally, like so. So now I know for a fact that there is the same distance between the first and the second and the second and the third. All right, so this is looking good just need to center them in my design like so upcoming classes and the two last one right here let's get rid of these arrows for now just keep one in case we need it later and move this around as well okay i have this idea of having these two classes here maybe i can turn that around as well so again this what i'm trying to do is to have some kind of randomness in these designs okay now what I want to do is to use my Montserrat font family to provide the information in these boxes. OK, so the first box is this one. I'm going to ungroup this. Just grab the text, get rid of this. All right. So this is my text. It is a bit big, so I'm going to reduce the size to maybe 30. Surya Korea. This is the name of the class. Arimo has to go. I want to use my Montserrat extra bold here and use a different color. Also, I'm going to change and harmonize these colors, right? So let's bring the color palette over here as well for now. And you see, it's okay to have some different things on your design for now. These will go, obviously. They're not going to stay. Just want to select a color that would work here. So I guess I need to work my two highest contrasting colors. So these two would probably be the most contrasting colors. So I'm gonna go for this one for this row and the other one here, terracotta color for these two. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. So I'm simply using the copy style button here, just selecting the little circle with the right color here. And then I can quickly use my copy style button like so. Okay, this is looking interesting. Maybe reduce this slightly more to a 24 still need to be legible obviously and uh, every single name here needs to have the same size okay just one thing about the color this black color it's a bit harsh so maybe i can use white okay and then the second part which is 2nd to 5th of august 6 a.m okay i need this text as well in my box but let's try to use this font right here okay so i'm gonna copy this and then make some adjustments okay first is the color now is that legible this is the question because if it's not and i can see my text here needs to be centered and I probably can reduce, let me zoom in, zoom in on this text box, reduce this as well. 2nd to 5th of August, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Okay, I can reduce this and center this text box. And I want it on one line, obviously. 6.30 to 9 a.m., the first a.m. can go. We understand. So what I'm also doing when I'm improving on some design, I try to get rid of all the unnecessary information on that design, okay? Because I believe this could go. Now we have Surya Kriya, 2nd to 5th of August, 6.30 to 9 a.m. Okay, this is looking good when I'm 86% zoomed in, but how does it look when it's kind of like smaller? Is it still legible? Yes, it's still legible. It could be slightly bigger, to be honest. So let's copy this, 18, maybe let's bring it to 20 and see 
how it is looking. 20 is probably better. So I'm gonna go for this. Now, I have all this information and I, I am going to speed up the video, but what I'm going to do is basically copy and paste all this information in the other boxes and adapt with the correct information. So there we go. Instead of redoing everything, I'm just selecting the three text boxes here and I'm going to hold my option key and drag it to the second one and then the third one right here. So I know I have the same thing. Now I'm just going to speed up the video and quickly fill up this information. All right, this is done. It's looking pretty good. I'm happy about this result and I can happily delete all of this information right here. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing for these two sessions right here. I need to bring my information from here. So again, just copying everything by selecting all the text boxes. If you wonder how I selected all the text boxes at once, click on the first element then I hold my shift key and then I click on other ones. My shift key is still held down. So as long as you hold the key, you can keep selecting or deselecting. If you click on the same thing, like I click on this photo, I don't want it, click it again. Still my shift key is held down. This is how you select multiple elements at once in Canva. So now I just control C and I'm controlling V on a PC or command V on a Mac. So now this is the information that needs to go in these two boxes. Again, here I'm going to select everything. So again, shift held down and then option to drag it all the way here. I'm giving you a crash course on keyboard shortcuts here. So Surya Kriya, yes, this one is 7th of August. So I'm co copying this text right here. 7th of August, 6.30 to 8.30 a.m. So this one needs to change to 8.30. There you go. All right, this is good. Last thing is the last box right here, making sure it is in the middle of the box and it is this last one right here. So this Angamardana, perfect. So this one is on the 14th of August and same schedule, perfect. We are moving forward, ladies and gentlemen. This is looking pretty good. Let me zoom out to show you. Okay, we have a layout. We have some sort of layout. This text box right here, I'm gonna keep it here for now in case I need to still use it. These two corner thingies are still there. Let's see if they survive. Okay, now the photo. How can I work with this photo? I have an idea and I'm going to background remove this. Okay, so I'm just going to select the photo and click on edit image and use the background remover to see how I can work with this photo without the background. I have an idea. Okay, my background has been removed. The job was done pretty well, so I'm happy with this. Just going to apply and there we go. I now have a photo without a background. Remove background is a pro feature. I really highly recommend you try Canva Pro and try the remove background because this, this is a pretty cool feature, to be honest, and I kind of recommend it to anyone. Okay, so I can bring the photo like so. This looks good, but it would be nice if we could flip that photo. Let's see if I flip it. Um, not so much. So I have another idea. I'm going to copy this and paste it. Now I have two of these. Okay, I'm just gonna move one here for now. What I'm going to do is to crop my yoga teachers here individually so I can move them the way I want it. So I have the first one here and then second one here. I can remove. Okay, I see a little bit of the man's elbow right here. Let me zoom in to see if I can get rid of that without cutting the lady's knee. Probably can. Yes, this is done. Okay, so now I have the two teachers here. I'm assuming this is Rohit and this is Ankita. I might be wrong. Let's continue here and bring up the, the last piece of information, which is all this piece right here. Okay, so I'm going to move my color palette and my font inspiration to the next page and bring my information here. I still have this little arrow oh yes and i still need to explain that these two classes are slightly different from the other classes okay one thing i want to do is to make sure my design is properly aligned so i'm going to use the rulers and guides if you don't see them so the rulers and guides you should see these rulers here on the sides 
of your design and when you click on it and drag you would bring a guide if you don't see these rulers you can find them by clicking on the file button and then show rulers show guides once these are ticked you will have your rulers and guides so i'm going to bring one here and immediately i see that something is not properly aligned on this design and these are these two boxes right here so selecting everything and making sure they are right there on my design okay and i can even align them so that they match rohit's head right here i'm gonna call this guy rohit for the rest of the <laughs> tutorial okay so like so and this box right here could be also touching that like so okay this looks good next I need to deal with this text right here. Okay, upcoming classes. This could be slightly bigger, to be honest. Let's go for 75. This is the main piece of information. It needs to be centered. Upcoming classes. And I like the, the idea of having the name of the teachers. So upcoming classes with the two teachers. Okay, so with Rohit and Ankita. Let's grab this text box right here. Paste it here and type their name with Row hit and you can use the and symbol Ankita with row hit and Ankita, okay? Because usually people who do like yoga, they do like to follow specific teachers that they're used to, right? So with row hit and Ankita, need to center this text. And I'm going to be using another color from my color palette. I'm going to be using this one right here. The font. Um, Montserrat extra light semi bold or extra bold. Let's see with extra bold or semi bold. Yeah, semi bold looks more decent. So this looks good. Maybe too close to the boxes. I can deal with this now, actually, selecting everything and pushing it down a bit, like so. How do I look at the bottom in terms of space? Looks good. Upcoming classes with Rohit and Ankita. Okay, so these are the classes. These are the classes. Yes, I need to specify that these classes are practice correction sessions. So I need to copy this text right here. Let's get rid of this for now, the guys, because they are cluttering my screen a bit too much. So I'm copying this text. I want to bring this information to my design. I believe it is important. Why do I have a blank page here? So text box, just press my T key on my keyboard to create this text box. And I'm going to paste this text right here. And what I want to do is to use this thin font right here for this text, okay? And to bring more consistency, I will use the same color as these two boxes, which is this color right here. I see that this text is kind of like not properly centered. So I'm going to use a different alignment uh, justification technique. So I will align to the left. Okay, so 18, let's see if I can bring it down a little bit to 15. This looks good. And here I will bring back my arrow. See this arrow? Again, I'm gonna change it for consistency purposes to the same color as the box right here and slightly rotate. Now, practice correction session. Probably need to have sessions in plural because there are two sessions. Practice correction sessions, perfect. Okay, so now I have this. These two are the practice correction sessions. I have my teachers. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. This is taking shape. I like this. I like the corners, though I still need to use my logo, so I'm not sure if this will stick. Let's bring the logos right now. Start with the logos. Yeah, so that's what I thought. If I use the logos and still have this, looks a little bit weird, so I'm gonna get rid of it for now. Okay venue the two teachers contacts hisha hatha yoga teachers so hisha hatha yoga teachers it's probably to mention that rohit and ankita are hisha hatha maybe certified yoga teachers but because we have the logos i think this box can go this information can go and here we have so the last three pieces of information which is the venue the phone numbers for contacting these people okay let's do this i want to bring an element here some elements here to bring the attention some visual elements it's kind of like a, an icon or something so i could use a phone icon and a venue icon so let's search for that so elements i'm gonna go for location icon yes like a simple pin like this will do not animated just something simple and round something simple and round let's go and sort these by graphics so this 
could do. Can I change the color? Yes. I'm gonna use my neutral color that I use here on the text. This needs to be probably smaller. Something like that. Okay, my venue name, the Wante National College, needs to be the same color as this text right here as well. So select this, the third one. Now, how does that look? Maybe a little bit too big still. Let me zoom in. Let's bring the guide back. By bring the guide back, I noticed that this one is not properly aligned. It needs to touch the guide. Okay, like so. And these guys need to touch the guide as well then and align with my logos here. You see this? So if I bring another guide like so, guides are very useful and I like to use them all the time. So I have my venue. Now I need to do something with these two teachers' contact numbers. What is this? Arimo, no way. It's not gonna stay here. I have Montserrat Semi Bold, yes. And I need to reduce this to probably 20 and I'm going to be centering with the icon right here. Now I need another icon for contact. So phone or WhatsApp, if he's using WhatsApp to promote this, probably better to have a WhatsApp icon. I know in India, a lot of people communicate with WhatsApp. So I need the same kind of icon style. This is very important. If you want to increase consistency in your design and you, you're working with icons, try to use consistent looking icons. So I could use this one, but you see the outline is much thicker. I don't want that. I chose a thin line icon, so I'm gonna go for consistency with a similar thin line icon for the WhatsApp logo. Okay, so of course the color needs to be the same and the size. So I'm going to position it right next to the other one and just make sure it is the same size. I'm going to position it here. This is going to be for my first phone number. So again, I'm gonna copy the style of this text for Ankita. So this is Ankita's phone number or WhatsApp number, like so. I'm going to be using this font for the phone number, like so. Okay, this looks good. Now I'm taking the two of them, making sure they are aligned. And then all I'm going to do is to duplicate this one by selecting all of them and then holding my option key on my Mac and simply dragging it. So this needs to say Rohit. And I'm going to be using this other number right here like so. Okay, now this can go. Not my photo. This goes and I'm going to zoom out and show you I have kind of successfully added the missing information here. What I could do is slightly detach that from each of these icons. And similarly, I just want everything to be perfectly aligned here. Okay, this one looks good. We can read the numbers, though they are maybe a bit too small. Let's see 15. Maybe let's push this to 18, each of them. It is important, like it needs to be functional as well, right? Good, this looks good. All right, now let's zoom out. There's one thing missing here. You can see a big empty in my design. So let's see if I can bring one more thing that I forgot from the original design. Okay, so I have all of this. Practice correction, yes, venue. To register contact, yes, this is what I was missing. To register contact, this is locked. So I need to unlock this. To register contact, there you go, to register contact. This is good, but I need to change the font to Montserrat Semi Bold. Slightly smaller, 26, and use my dark color. Okay, I'm pretty happy with all of this. I can maybe bring this up. Oh, yeah, but it's still aligned with the two logos here, which I want to keep this alignment. So one thing I can do is to bring the logos up slightly so I have more space here because I have a lot of space on top. So I'm gonna go with my shift key selected and held down one, two and same here select everything and then my shift key is held down meaning i'm going to move from five pixel at a time one two okay and i see it's still aligned here i have a little bit more space i have created more space at the bottom of my flyer of my story which is good okay now i'm zooming in all the way down to see this entire design gonna get rid of this now this little corner here looks lonely because he's the only one okay so i'm pretty happy with this one thing i could add is a background and maybe the two teachers here could be slightly bigger as well as i create this i want to try to see if i can bring a background to this story so it gives it 
an extra layer of dimension to it. So for that, I'm going to go back to my templates and start looking at some of these other stories and see if there's one with a background which is interesting. This one could be interesting. This one could be interesting as well. I'm just going to try, you know, I'm going to delete this one. Clicking on this page, empty page, important because if you bring a template, it might just erase everything else. So this background is interesting. Obviously, I don't need all the information on the background, so I'm going to delete it. This looks good because it looks kind of like the same color palette as my original colors on the design. And I like the flowy kind of design patterns here. It makes me th think of the fluidity of yoga. So I'm going to use that. But how do I bring this to this design? Well, the easy way to go about this is to export page number five as a photo. So I'm going to download PNG page number five. Just going to download this page, re-upload it into Canva. Okay, it's downloaded. So I'm just simply going to re-upload it into Canva. It's here. And what I'm going to do is click on the background here go to my elements and search for a grid find the grid click on the first one it's going to cover your entire story now i'm going to drop this background straight into my grid and this is what it looks like what i can do is to add more transparency to it to make it more subtle like so and there you go all of a sudden i have created a nice looking background here for my story i can now get rid of this download right here and i think i'm done here guys i'm pretty happy about this result maybe i can create this a little bit bigger upcoming classes with rohit and ankita yeah this is looking pretty nice the only thing i can do one two is to bump these two a little bit more one two and ankita will go up as well one two everything has been pushed up a little bit so i'm creating more space i would say in this design right i'm gonna leave it here i hope you enjoyed it so as a quick recap what did we do on this design so before and after the first thing that we did is to extract the color palette so we looked at the consistency of the design we liked the color palette of this first original design so we continued working with it so i extracted it recreated the color palette then i looked at the information and i extracted what is the most important information. So I kind of reconstructed the hierarchy of the information. I looked at visual grouping. How can we group certain pieces of information together because they make sense together, like the classes and the correction classes on the design. We applied a specific style to these elements. So we use the two colors right here. We have the neutral color and the terracotta color. We created the visual grouping like so, and also with the layout. Next to that, we saw which kind of information we could get rid of to keep the minimalistic approach of the less is more in terms of your text and your information. We detached the photo from the background. We applied the background remover and we duplicated it. So we have each of the teachers individually so we have more flexibility to position them and then we created the lower section of the visual with the contact information make it more prominent and easier for people to figure out how to register how to contact the teachers and that's it this is Pimp my design i hope you enjoyed it again if you did leave us a like this is super useful for us on the channel this is how we get visibility this is how people find us so leave us a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so if you like Pimp my design find the link to the playlist we have two more episodes this is episode three already and there will be more so if you have submitted your design and we haven't picked it yet keep submitting other designs make sure you provide the right link there will be a link in the description also for you to leave us your design via the google form so make sure you find this thank you for watching until the end we appreciate you and see you in the next video